Hey guys, um, welcome to A Vision for the Future, using vision boards to see beyond COVID. My name is Kiana Pilt, and today I am just doing this video for you guys to first understand how to create a vision board, you know, defining what a vision board is, um, and just trying to get your goals in, in mind, or trying to keep you, help, help you keep your goals in mind. Um, and... It's, I, find, I feel that it's really important during this time to uh, figure out your goals, keep your goals in mind. But here's a fun way to do that, um, and that's creating the vision board. Um, so here's a vision for the future, using visions, vision boards to see beyond COVID. So first, a vision board is a dream board basically a physical manifestation of your goals you know it's a creative process um, and it, it's also a visualization tool that helps you basically narrow down your goals your desires um, and set clear intentions and goals and when you're setting those goals you want those goals to be long-term goals you want them to be long-term goals instead of short-term goals. And it's important to have long-term goals rather than short-term goals because long-term goals will get you farther than short-term goals. And what I mean by short-term goals are um, like thinking about things of, oh, you know, what I want to accomplish in a month from now or what I want to accomplish weeks from now instead of long-term goals are the things that I want to accomplish within five years or ten years a lot of people um, try to do five five-year goals or ten-year goals um, and you know having the vision board for that uh, and it's very important to just keep your long-term goals in mind and when you're thinking about a vision board you want to identify your vision and give it clarity you know you want to figure out a fun way to create your vision board yes but you also want to make sure that you're clarifying those goals um, that you have for that vision board and you know there's no such thing as oh i just have to do one vision board like no you can do multiple vision boards um for different goals that you have in mind um you also want to reinforce your daily affirmations uh you know reaffirm reaffirming your goals and keeping your intention on your intentions basically making sure that you basically keep your head in the game and you know keep your goals in mind so when you create a vision board you want your vision board to start off with magazine clippings and you know you can use magazine clippings um, things from the internet uh, photos from the internet but you want to make sure that the things that you're picking have an end goal meaning you want it want those uh, clippings that you get from magazines to actually have meaning um, when you put them on your vision board. So some steps to get you started on your vision board. So step one, what you need to do is first off, plan out your board. You know, first, it might help you to write it down, but first what you need to do is identify, you know, what this specific vision board would be for you. Um, you know, consider the message you want um, your board to say and convey. Um, to, you you want to probably start asking yourself questions um, to maybe help you clarify what you want to go on your vision bo board as far as your goals. You know, um, some questions might be, what wishes and desires do you want to present on your board? Um, and when you when that question, when you think about that question, you know you want to think about your goals, your career goals, your family life, your love life, your health and wellness, things you do in your free time, um, what you want to learn, you know how you want to grow, um, and you know make note of those things and apply it to your vision board. And like I said, you know you don't have to 
just have one vision board. You can make multiple vision boards for different things in your life, different goals. And then you think about, you know, the images that you want to have on your board. Um, you know, like I said, it can be from magazines to internet photos, uh, newspapers, brochures, you know, pages from a book. But it's all based on what you want to have for your vision board. And you can also um, add embellishments, you know, things like stickers, uh, decorative elements to your vision board. So this is a book that I found um, that I think is very helpful as far as trying to understand the things that you want to implement within your vision board. And it's called Future Boards, Learn How to Create a Vision Board to Get Exactly the Life You Want. A step-by-step -step guide to manifesting your dream life. And it's by Sarah Centrella. And in this book, um, A Future Board, it's basically a physical dream board, a true, man a true manifestation of your desired future self. Basically, it talks about you know the things that you want in life, um, but you know talking about the things that you want, but also finding a a visual way to create those goals without it always being in your head, like. Of course, we all have goals, you know, that we have in our head, but vision boards are a creative way to express those visions and goals that we have in our head. Um, and it's fun. I honestly had fun making this board, guys. It took my mind off of a lot of things, especially going on during this time. And it's a fun way to affirm your goals, keep them in mind. And not lose hope. I've had so many friends tell me that they they just don't know what they want to do. You know, what is what is my new normal after COVID? You know, and I think this is a way to honestly express your goals and try to keep it, try to stay positive and keep your goals in mind. Um, and that is honestly the best way to think about this like just keeping your goals in mind and understanding that this isn't it you know you're gonna have a life after this and what you do with your life is up to you but this is a way to realize the goals that you set for yourself and the things that you plan to do after all of this is over um so coming back to Future Board by Sarah Centrilla, um, she shows you how basically she cre started, you know, creating her own board and introduces, you know, real people that have ambitions and desires and think the same way that we do. Um, in this, she just wants you to think about the goals that you have and set for yourself throughout your life and I recommend this book guys it is a you know in a step-by-step -step guide on creating vision boards she goes through her process and then she talks about different types of thinkers um, and how creating their boards or how creating um, vision boards for specific type of thinkers um, can go about. And she also asks important questions, um, you know, getting getting you to think about, you know, your goals. Um, so I started off, you know, cutting out news clippings um from different magazines i went through different magazines and started cutting up clippings and 
you know, this kind of helped with my process. It's going to take some time, of course, because you're looking through multiple magazines and, you know, trying to find things that fit your goal, <clears throat> fit your goals, and you're trying to reaffirm your goals. Um, but as you create your vision board, you want to set up a quiet space and you know set out all of your supplies and you know kind of do what helps you um and by that i mean if you're somebody that likes to listen to music to get your creative juices flowing then that's fine you know turn on some music or if you like to light some candles you know light some candles you know um and try to have fun with creating this vision board guys it's not all about you know um thinking oh this can't be fun I'm thinking about my goals you know but try to think of it as a fun creative way um, to visualize your goals but also get fun and creative um, and then guys go ahead and create your vision board so as I was you know going through magazines I actually found this image and although it is from a Netflix show, um, it just symbolizes empowerment for me, you know, um, keeping things in mind, strength, um, honor, you know, but that what that's what this means to me that everything that you see within magazine clippings might have a different meaning for you, even though this means, you know, strength, empowerment, um, for me, that might not be the case for you. You might see something different. So, you know, when, like I said, when thinking about magazine clippings, make sure, or clippings that you get from anywhere to apply to your vision board, make sure that it has a meaning for you because you got to remember that you're, um, that you are thinking about your own goals. And like I said, you can have multiple vision boards for different things. And that'll be fine, you know, if you want to have a vision board just about your career and then have another vision board about what you want to have or like your love life in five years or something like that. Um, those can be two separate vision boards and, you know, but make sure when you're figuring this stuff out that you find something that has meaning rather than just picking clippings out of magazines, newspapers, brochures, etc. So this is the process that I went through as far as starting my vision board. Um, and as you can see, I have, you know, an airplane for travel, um, going to Troy, you know, quotes, pictures, cameras, um, and I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. I am a recent graduate from AUM and, you know, thinking about graduating during a time like this, it can be very, uh, stressful and because you're not, you know, graduating the same way that, you know, your friends did or that you hope that you would have hoped to um but for this for me is just a reminder that you know after all of this is over i still have a life to live and i still have things that i want to accomplish um so for me i am a graduate at aum like i said um and i graduated with a major in photography with um, a minor in marketing and art history and I still plan to go to Troy um, somewhere in the next and maybe like fall or sometime next year um, to finish the some classes in Spanish um, and obtain my bachelor's in Spanish and then I want to get my master's um, before I'm 27 um, so I want to get my master's in translation and interpretation and 
you know, I also want to travel and of course continue to take pictures, you know, so maybe like a travel photographer um, and, you know, all of the things that I graduated with, you know, I plan to use, you know, years down the line. So this is just, you know, part of the rest of my process. Um, like I said, you know, traveling is something that I want to do, you know, photography um, and the image that is of the flower right here um, was taken by me. I like to do nature shots um, and, you know, I have my camera with my lenses um, and, you know, the strength, hope, empowerment symbol that, you know, that means something to me. But like I said, I also want to go to Troy and, you know, become an interpreter. And, you know, I have my airplane and that's in the sky, you know, that symbolizes traveling. But then for me, I know that, you know, quotes keep me going. So I decided to add specific quotes um, that I thought would be useful um, for me. So, in the last slide, you know, I had letters and crayons, and this is just different supplies that you can use in order to create your vision board. I, although I took some classes in drawing, I am not the best drawer, um, but I'm keeping, you know, keeping up my practice of trying to become a good drawer. Um, so I had to use trace line letters um, to get the letters to even look remotely um, good. I can't draw a straight line to save my life. So um, and I just wanted to read some quotes and daily affirmations from my vision board that keep me going and that help me, especially throughout this time. It is extremely hard to keep your goals in mind and this is why I created that vision board. So up at the top, you would see um, daily affirmations and the first one says, I am exactly where I need to be right now. That's one. Two, all things are temporary. Three, I'm grateful for adversity because it allows me to grow. Four, my strength is greater than my struggles. Five, I will let go of the things I cannot control. Six, I am enough. Seven, I love myself for who I am. Eight, I am worthy of great things. Nine, I am strong. Ten, I am in charge of my own self-worth. Eleven, I am surrounded by love. Twelve, success and happiness come easily to me. 13. I can create the life I dream of. 14. I only, if, I only attract good things. And lastly, 15 says, there are endless opportunities around me. And those are just daily affirmations that I will continue to see on my vision board um, as I hang it up on my wall. And a vision board is supposed to be in, you know, your eyesight, you know, it's not supposed to, you know, just go in your closet, you know, you create it and it's supposed to go in your closet. It's actually supposed to go in a place where you can see it daily and help yourself to remember the goals that, you know, that you set for yourself. Another quote on my board says, other people's negative opinions will never make me question who I am as a person. My purpose is in this world. I'm too focused, too ambitious, too determined. And that quote is by Mara La Negra. Um, and honestly, that expresses exactly, you know, who I am to me. Um, you know, I'm too focused, too ambitious, too determined. And I don't plan on giving up my goals anytime soon. I want to finish, you know, my Spanish classes at Troy and I plan to get my master's and I want to do that all before I'm 27 but those are my goals you know um, those goals don't apply to everyone and that's okay 
as long as you figure out the goals that you want and find a visual way to create those goals and you know make yourself happy but also remember those goals especially during COVID you know that's all that you know I'm asking and that's exactly why I created this video guys another quote says just because you don't have it all figured out doesn't mean you're behind your timing is your timing what's unfolding for you is very sacred you're being prepared for it and honestly that's very important to me it has special meaning to me because I'm always thinking that things have to go as planned or they have to you know be at a specific time like you know you're only supposed to be in college for a specific amount of time but and that's something that I always think of but as long as you get there that is the end goal and as long as you get that degree that is the end goal as long as you finish the last quote that I want to mention pertains to photography and it, it states to every photographer as well as any other creative even when it feels like it's slow or nothing's happening right now keep working Start with what you have. Start with what you have to get where you want to go. And those quotes, all of these quotes that are on this board, have a specific meaning to me. Like I said, you want things on to be on your board to have a specific meaning um, to you, you know, to who you are, and even like the butterflies, guys, like. I love butterflies. I'm always photographing pictures of butterflies um, or any type of nature thing. And that goes to, you know, the things that I want to do with my photography career. I am a person that loves nature. Um, nature photography is something that I want to accomplish in my life. And I want to travel to, you know, see different types of uh natural occurrences and uh, nature, natural environments and, you know, and, you know, wildlife, animals. Um, and this is important. A vision board, although my vision board might not look, you know, all fancy schmancy, but, you know, it honestly, it helps me keep my goals in mind. And that's all that's important. And it's important to keep your goals in mind during COVID-19 and guys I know I'm saying this a lot I know I'm repeating it a lot but I can't stress it enough because you don't want to forget you know during, especially during this time the things that you may have thought of last year and I say last year because the, all of this wasn't going on um, as far as we knew and just you don't want to forget those goals that you set for yourself just because we're in a state kind of like a not a stalemate but just because we're in a standstill you know and right now things can seem like they're not going back to normal um it's very important to still honestly figure out your goals and see have a visual way to see what you plan on doing down the line. Well, guys, that is it for a vision for the future using vision boards um, during COVID-19. I just want to thank you guys for watching, but also leave you with an important reminder to Affirm your goals, yes, but also be creative, have fun. You know, um, there, a vision board is a fun way to reaffirm your goals, guys. So have fun, and I want to thank you again for watching.